Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report. You know, with the yes, yes. You know who started the yes thing? It was Marv Albert, wasn't it? I think so. As noted before, old Goldust, uh, he's going to be returning to the ring July 14th, Hollywood, Florida, uh, for the NWA Ring Warriors promotion and their Hollywood Heat Wave event. And Goldust is going to be wrestling Vordell Walker. You remember him, don't you? Paul Heyman posted the following on Twitter before Raw last night. He said, the boss is back. Uh, Brock and I are indeed back. Where? Remains to be seen, <clears throat> he says. Mark Henry, he's going to be filming an episode of WWE Outside the Ring today in Harlem. He wrote, he says, I will be doing uh, the day in the life today. I would be doing a day in the life today in Harlem. A uh, show called Outside the Ring starting uh, at 125th in Lenox. Got to uh, get my coffee. Better get some artillery, too. As uh, seen on last night's Raw, Vince McMahon rode Jiren Leonard Laronitis' uh, scooter up the ramp and then pushed it off stage. Word is the entire uh, spot was unplanned. And WWE, uh, he's destroyed a lot more money than that silly roundabout scooter. WWE posted a uh, fictional injury update on Vince McMahon, claiming he has experienced a concussion-like symptom following the KO punch from Big Show at the conclusion of last night's Raw. Anyway, WWE reported after Raw went off, McMahon regained consciousness and was uh, then helped to the back. They teased that McMahon's status for this Sunday's No Way Out pay-per-view is up in the air. Uh, McMahon said last night on the show he would be at the pay-per-view sitting with John Laronitis during the main event between Big Show and John Cena. And if Big Show loses, he's firing John Laronitis. So we shall see. I doubt it. You know, maybe by the uh, with the concussion. You know, it's a wonder he didn't have Big Show kill him. Isn't that normally what Vince McMahon usually ends up getting killed or murdered or stage collapsing, blowed up, and something happened. But uh, he just got a slight concussion. He's all right now. But don't you think you ought to end up loony? Just dingy as hell. All right, based on local advertising this week on Raw Super Show, John Laronitis uh, will be fired at No Way Out. That's what it's, what it's claiming. And it appears he still is going to be on WWE TV in a new role. It says assistant to the WWE Board of Directors. Anyway, WWE's website posted a video of Vince McMahon being helped out of the ring after last night's uh, Raw went off the air. After Raw went off, Cena faced uh, David Otunga, John Laronitis, a big show in a handicap match. Show accidentally hit Otunga with the knockout punch, allowing Cena to get the win, and Cena hit the attitude adjustment on Laronitis to end the show, send everybody home happy. And who is going to put mittens on the big show? Somebody needs to, he just, his hands are just out of control. All right, as seen on last night's Raw, good old Vader. Love Vader. Anyway, he returned to action to defeat uh, Heath uh, Slater. And F4W Online uh, reports that the 58-year-old former uh, world heavyweight champion is looking to make a comeback after recently dropping 60 pounds. I've been trying for 20 more. I did lose 10. I'm trying for 20 more. Vader, what's your secret? Is it being 58? But uh, I tell you why he looked good last night. Last time I seen him, I think it was back in 2006, and when he jumped out of the ring, there was a tag team match. I can't remember some uh, uh, old schoolers. And uh, and when he, when he jumped out of the ring, he just about lost his balance and fell over. I think I must have been his extra 60 pounds. Or he had one or three or four too many. But they had to hold him <laughs> after he got out of the ring. Oh, he's, he's a gas. Anyway. Mick Foley uh, wrote about Dolph Ziggler during the Raw match last night. He said another excellent match involving Ziggler. Says, I think I detect some type of trend here. Paul Heyman retweeted uh, the comment. It got dark in here. Uh, and said that uh, he agreed with Foley. As noted before, Al Alberto Dorito suffered a uh, serious concussion at last week's SmackDown taping when Sheamus slammed his head against the metal WWE logo uh, at the stage. So it really wasn't what they told us last night, which I ain't gonna. But anyway, in the storyline, WWE is blaming a concussion on uh, 
uh, well, the hand chops that the great Kali did and delivered the, on the singles match at uh, Friday SmackDown, but shh, don't tell nobody. And as noted before, <clears throat> you know, they keep trying to push uh, Del Rio and something ends up happening. Anyway, as noted before, old JBL, he was at uh, WWE headquarters yesterday doing some work. JBL said he was doing mostly some work for his Seven Summits um, project, which is uh, also doing some filming for some upcoming WWE specials and DVDs. WWE uh, website has a new storyline article up, wondering if Vince McMahon will be cleared to appear Sundays at No Way uh, Out pay-per-view. They also speculate a big show may face disciplinary actions, despite the unclad uh, contract from uh, Laronitis. And as noted for old uh, Triple H, he will be appearing at No Way Out to uh, speak about his future and the situation with Brock Lesnar. Sources close to WWE do not expect Lesnar to be there uh, live, but his status for the pay-per-view is not confirmed yet. So what the, if, they, if he was going to be there and show up, they would tell us so we'd buy the pay-per-view. So I, he probably won't be. may be there on Monday's Raw, the following uh, uh, the pay-per-view. Anyway, high-profile lawyer Ray Raffoul, who is representing John Cena, that's his real name, representing John Cena's wife, Liz, uh, in their divorce, recently spoke to Lawyer.com about the case, which I didn't think he was supposed to do, but Cena signed a uh, prenuptial agreement 16 days before his wedding, and the effectiveness of the agreement will terminate how much money his ex-wife gets, Raffoul said. All right, <clears throat> where was I? In this case, it appears the preliminary issue will be the interpretation of the prenuptial agreement. The application of the party, property, assets, income, whether the agreement itself is enforceable or not, which we uh, will always consider, the attorney says, and in means of time, addressing the temporary needs for our client injunction in despite certain items in uh, terms of the prenuptial agreement, which is a bunch of attorney bullshit they're laying on us. Uh, Lawyers.com added that wrestling fans will have to wait a long time to see what happens in Cena's case while they cited irreconcilable differences in the divorce papers. Well, Fool uh, says that they are keeping the reasons for their divorce under wrap. So don't worry about it. On Twitter this morning, uh, Mark Henry confirmed that his shoulder uh, is recovering, not his knees or his groin. Uh, Henry said his shoulder is healing good. Uh, as seen on last night's Raw, old Vader returned to action, defeated Heath Slater. He wrote, um, can't get over Vader on Twitter. Uh, he says, wow, what a fantastic night. I want to thank the WWE from the bottom of my heart. I also want to thank all the fans for the love and support. He says, still got it? It's time. It's time. It's Vader time. Vader was brought back in honor of the upcoming 1,000th Raw. Word is that WWE will be bringing back a few more of the legends this week, leading up to July 23rd, and I hope they're in as good a shape as Vader. WWE posted the following update on Mr. McMahon after they took, uh, he took the knockout punch from Big Show anyway. They got another update. Mr. McMahon is being evaluated by the medical personnel and treated for a concussion like symptoms due to the head injury sustained in the hands of Big Show. On Raw Monday, uh, WF official, they're playing this up big time. Says the injury occurred during the show's final moments when the world's largest athlete knocked out Vince and then uh, uh, appeared uh, it appeared to be intended for John Cena. Mr. McMahon gained consciousness after Raw went off the air and was assisted to the back of the locker room where he immediately started bitching at everybody. <laughs> He's all right. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I got to go. <laughs>